reviewing Interland, which was made by Google, which is a set of four different games used to teach digital citizenship and internet safety to students. So like I said, the game has four different um, basically levels. The first is Kind Kingdom. It's cool to be kind, which teaches all about um, being kind on the internet as well as um, that the choices that we make on the internet have real life consequences to the emotional um, impact of people. The second one is Reality River Don't Fall for Fake, which is all about phishing scams. It leads kids across a river um, by answering questions about how to handle scams and people who are trying to fish for their personal information on the internet. Mindful Mountain Share with Care, which is all about sharing information, particularly on social media and posting and who you should try to share with. And then Tower of Treasure, which is all about internet security. Um, it talks about the importance of keeping our information safe as well as um, in password security. So the first one that I wanted to show was Mindful Mountain, and that is because this game in particular has quite a few different things that students can learn from it. So not only are they talking and, or not talking, not only are they learning about what they should be posting and who they should be sharing posts with, but there are geometry and mathematical um, factors to this game as well. As you can see with the bouncing of the message off of the mirrors, students have to use spatial reasoning as well as um, trying to figure out who they're posting to. So for example, this one is telling you that you're going to post this funny lip sync video with your pals. So then you use the mirror to help you send the message to your friends. And it starts easy and then you it gets harder. Um, as you saw in the upper left hand corner that was just there, students also unlock achievements. They also unlock um, experience points as well. This one, and you'll see it, it gets harder as they go. So it scales with the students as they develop. I also wanted to show some gameplay from Kind Kingdom because it is the most game-like um, part of Interland. The students have to collect these kind thoughts and send them to some of the internauts who have been bullied online. And as you do that, you unlock different areas of the level that you can travel to. Um, in this part of the level, not only do you encounter people who have been bullied or made to feel less than, you also encounter what the program calls a troublemaker, and you protect the internauts from troublemakers by physically blocking them. Uh, so it's a really good way to introduce some of these internet kindness ideas to students. However, with since this is very gameplay oriented, I'm uh, without the follow up. I'm not sure how much emotional um, learning students would get from a game like this. There's another level unlocked. 